First thing that we need to do is open up your art manager, which is located under the THQ directory, Titan Quest, Toolset, Art Manager. What we need to do here is set up the directory structure uh, within the art manager so that the TQ game knows where to look uh, when you want to play your game. So you go to the mod directory, you expand that, and you click on new, and you'll be prompted for a name, and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name this tutorial. Click OK. You'll notice that the directory structure has actually changed to reflect your name change. So if you expand that, you'll notice you have some new options where you can store all of your source files for your TQ mod. What we'll do now is just minimize the uh, art manager and then jump into the TQ editor and start making our level. In the prompt that appears once you open the editor, uh, under the mod name drop down menu, select the mod name that you just created. In this case, it's tutorial. And then you'll see the same directory that appeared in the art manager. Uh, what we're going to do is give our map a name. So we probably want to save this in the maps directory. So select that, and that's going to create the path name for you. And then you can name this whatever you want. And for consistency, I'm just going to name this uh, a tutorial. And then when you click OK, it's going to create the world file for you. So to add your first level file, you go to the region menu, and you want to add new terrain. So you're, you've got the same uh, dialog box that comes up. Uh, you want to have, it, have these levels save into the maps directory again. And then you can name it uh, whatever you want. So I'm going to call this level 01. And below that, you'll notice you have options to set the size of the level. So you click OK, and you notice that this box appears. So we're going to just move this one out of the way. This is the above ground level. Uh, now we're going to create the underground level by going to region add new grid and we're just going to save it in the same directory we're going to name this underground level and the size here is slightly different it's not meter based it's cell based so just click OK and you'll see the grid will appear and we're just going to move that kind of near the above ground level so you select this is the above ground level select that by left clicking and then up here at the top of the screen you'll notice this little box with two red arrows that's the jump to button that will bring us right to the editor mode when you go to the editor mode you'll notice that uh, there's just a large expanse of sand in front of you um, if you use the mouse wheel you can zoom out and see what we've actually created here this is a a large 256 meter by 256 meter uh, height map uh, with a default sand texture applied to it uh, if you want to navigate this view it's just like the layout mode if you hold the right mouse button you can kind of drag the world around like that the left mouse button is used for selecting objects or just manipulating the height map if you ever want to return to the default height and orientation of the editor mode uh, for the camera just go up to the default height button and click that and default camera orientation is right next to that so the first thing that usually we do is create a very rough level boundary. Uh, we do that with the plateau tool. So if you select the plateau tool, you'll notice that this new cursor comes up. Uh, there's a shortcut key that we can use to decrease the size of the cursor, and that's the bracket keys. So by left clicking, we can actually start to modify this height map. We have two options for using the plateau tool. You can either hold control and then by moving the mouse button, or the mouse up and down, you notice you can change the size of the plateau that you're about to create. Uh, alternatively, once you've created a plateau, you can hold the shift button to take a sample height. And then thereafter, once you paint the plateau, it's at that height. So if you zoom out, you probably want to make this right in the middle of the level. So I'm just going to take a sample height, and I'm going to make the cursor really big. I'm just going to create a gameplay space on that side, and then a gameplay game space kind of on the other side of a chasm where we'll eventually put a river. So at this stage of making the level, everything is very rudimentary. It doesn't, it's not going to really look like anything at first, but you'll be surprised how quickly it really starts to take shape. You might want to add some detail. It's very flat right now. So what we can do is we can select the raise lower tool and it's the same cursor and you can change the radius of the tool in the same way 
and then by left clicking you can add you know small deformations in the terrain uh, by holding the shift key while left clicking you can decrease the elevation of the terrain so this is a relatively large area um, and if we ever want to change anything maybe I want this to be maybe a little bit bigger I can just go in I'm gonna take a sample height and I'm just gonna expand that it's really easy to correct any mistakes and to iterate on um, whatever levels you've, you've created.